Since its formulation in 2011, OGP has had some significant successes in countries such as the UK, the United States, Brazil and Indonesia. In terms of commitment to this initiative, co-founding member countries have set a high precedence. U.S. President Barack Obama and British Prime Minister David Cameron are two of the high-profile government representatives from their countries. Equally to a high-level commitment from the government, OGP needs a very strong and organized civil society. Transparency International has been very instrumental in facilitating OGP's entry into PNG. But do we police our laws? And the answer is often no. We ignore many of our rules. So how do we change it? Experiences in Indonesia have shown that what is needed to make this work has been very clear and tangible objectives that can be achieved within two-year periods. Open information about the government uh, policies, government uh, uh, performance, as well as uh, making better connection. The good news for PNG is that it has already passed the first step of gaining membership. The next step would be a high-level commitment from the government, which should result in a letter of request to the steering committee. Participants from the workshop are encouraged that the government has already shown some interest. Foreign Affairs Minister Rimbing Pato invited the steering committee to conduct this workshop earlier this year. It's the encouraging factor that the government is actually looking into those kind of initiatives now. It wasn't like that in the last five years or even ten years for that matter. At least there's a minister here who wants to do something. So he's brought it here. We, we must make it happen. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.